Um, if this is true, um, and this is really working well, because you know you have a buffer problem, apparently in StreamYard, they say they, they fix that in the recording. So um, I just want you and I to carry on a conversation. And then when we're done, I'm going to look at the footage and see if it's better. Because if this if that's the case, then this is where you and I will do the podcast. It's the same thing as doing it on Zoom, but it's going to be no. on StreamYard. And it'll be better. Um, okay. Because they made, they made a big um, advertisement on that. So I'm putting up your second part of your uncle tomorrow. Cool. Um, he got so excited. He'd been telling everybody. I don't know if you've seen his um, splash, but um, but that's kind of fun. How was Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was good. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. We had a nice mild Thanksgiving. We had a few people over who had no place to go. So that was kind of nice. Like three people. So it was a nice, quiet um loving very kind of thanksgiving and i made the turkey for the first time and i did really good nice job <laughs> yay so i'm not scared of making turkey anymore <laughs> <laughs> i can do it um so that's good so i've been talking to a friend of mine by the name of kathy moon here in sarasota she teaches film she has a film class for her students um, have to go see films, and then they come back to class and they discuss them. So she's a big lover of film. And I said, Kathy, would you like to be a guest on Michael's podcast? And she said, I think I can. She said, I said, give me some dates on Fridays that you can do. She said, I'm, she said I've got some Fridays I can't do, but some I can. So I said, well, just give me the dates. And I just sent her the one that you did with your uncle and the one with Huck. So she can see when you're just talking to a regular guest mm. or when you're talking to someone who is a specialty in something. Um, yeah. Uh, she could be someone that might be fun to just, because she said she can probably only do it once. So maybe she's someone, it might be fun to, to talk to someone who teaches film and, um, and see what that's, what that's all about. You know, like, um, um, that might be kind of a fun subject. And then you guys can just have a great time nerding out talking about film because uh, because she, she just loves it. That'd be cool. And it might be fun to give her an assignment of a particular film that she can probably get really easy, not one that's out in them. Well, she might. I mean, she, was, she sees everything constantly. She's constantly having to go because she assigns them to her students. So... Would you like me to ask her what the most recent films that she's seen that you can have a discussion about it? Sure. Okay, excellent. Um, that would be very cool. All right, we can do that. And maybe I know that she probably just saw the um, the Anish one, Anish, Anish here, the um, Banshees of... Banshees of Inishurin? Yeah. Yeah, I love that movie. Might, you might have seen that. So I'll ask her what she's seen, and then maybe we'll just set it up so it'll be just um a special one like we did with Huck and with what we did with um, uh, Caitlin, where they have a specialty in something that deals with the industry. So that'll be kind of cool. And then I'll set up another one where you, in, in, you interview somebody that's like where you assign them a film and they come back on. Um, so it might, what, is there anyone in your family you'd like to do besides Dan? Is there someone else? Not at the moment. Okay. Yeah. it's They're no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Families are no fun. They're no fun to interview. <laughs> oh, so far you have not been glitching one bit. Good. Okay. And did you see um did you see the Fablemans? No, I haven't yet. Is it great? Oh my god, and it's like the best movie of the year. Really? It's, it's Steven Spielberg's life. Like this family, the Fablemans, they were and they're really like his back when he was growing up it it's okay. about like his family his childhood how he learned to like fall in love with movie making oh okay yeah it's like, it, like is it in theaters right now oh yeah i saw it okay. last weekend oh okay well maybe we'll go tomorrow night then because we yeah. like to make better night movie night Okay. Yeah. The opening scene of the movie is like his parents taking him to see like his first movie in the theater. It was wow. in 1952 and it was the greatest show on earth. No, oh, perfect. Perfect. Well, you know, the greatest show on earth 
That was shot in Sarasota, Florida, some of it. And it won Best Picture at the Academy yeah. Awards. But yeah. some people didn't like it. I was reading no, it that well, way. Yeah, what can you say? I guess yeah. people didn't like the idea of a two and a half hour movie about like people in the circus winning Best Picture. Yeah. Now I haven't seen it yet, so I can't really know for sure if it's like a great movie or not. Okay. Oh, the 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 great show on Earth. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a you know it's a fifties film, you know. But I um, like fifties movies. Yeah. But the the there's a parade down a uh, Main Street, and that's in <laughs> Sarasota because that's where they all lived right here in my town. Yeah. Like fifties movies, I think was when like cinema was really getting good, and like that's oh, a so lot cool. of a lot of classic movies came out in the fifties. I mean, look at it, like on the waterfront, Rebel Without right. a Cause, Ben Hur, great movies. Right. Right, right. Did you? Did I can't remember. Did you ever finally get the chance to see Sunset Boulevard? Yes, I did. I. Yep. That's right. That's right. You did. You know, um, William Holden's a big Hollywood screenwriter. He goes yeah. to see. Gloria Swanson, you know, a has been silent film actress who's trying to make a comeback. She wants right. to still be famous, but you know, times are changing in Hollywood and yeah. she's just so desperate for fame and stardom that it leads her to murder him. And it's the famous yeah. scene when she shoots him in the back and he falls flat face into the pool. That's the famous shot of the movie. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's I'm the opening. Close up, Mr. DeMille. Yeah, I mean, that's the opening scene of the movie, and then yeah. at, towards the end, we see like yeah. how, why, how did he get there? Yeah. Why is he well, face down into a swimming pool? I, I always loved it that it's told from the point of view of a dead man. That's really great. It's you William know? Holden. Yeah, it's told from the point of view of a dead man. I love that. I think that was so cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think when it first came out, people took to it. It was not till much later that it that it found an its audience, but. What can you say? That's crazy. Um, I think things were changing so much in the 50s, people had to get used to it. You know, there's a, a famous um, piece of music called The Rite of Spring that uh, yeah. when it came out in the 1920s, it was a ballet. The audience protested. They booed and threw things at the stage because the music was just so ahead of its time that they their brains couldn't handle it. If they got angry, isn't that funny? Yeah. So like a while back, I came across like um, so Spike Lee, you know, famous director Spike Lee, you know, do the right thing in Black Klansman. Right. He teaches film at NYU Film School in New York, and yeah. he, a while back, I printed this list that he made of like mm -hmm. essential movies that like young people should see. Right. And a lot of them for them for like from like the fifties, sixties, and seventies, and like. There was this other video I saw. There are like three essential films that Spike Lee recommends to everyone. And they yeah. are um, Ace, in, um, Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder. A okay. Face in the Crowd, directed by Elia Kazan. And That's some right. foreign movie from France called Battle of Algiers. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, we just recently saw his film Passing Strange, which is actually was a Broadway show. And he loved it so much, he filmed it. I must he must have had like five cameras. So it's it's done still on stage with a live audience, with an audience there. So it isn't like he filmed it outside of theater. He kept it a theater piece. And it is brilliant. It is brilliant. You can see it on, what did we see it on? I think we saw it on Apple TV. I mean, you have to rent it, but it's worth it. It's a definite, I mean, I have to see it again. You know, you get it for 48 days. I have to see it again. It's yeah. so brilliant. It's it's just a wonderful storytelling. And it's the musician Stu is singing it. So it's a it's musical in a way. It's musical, but it's also great storytelling and great characters. So um ah, and it has a, a, a Spike Lee just loved it. So if you get a chance to see it, it's called Passing Strange. Yeah. Look for and it. And have you seen Ace in the Hole or Face in the Crowd? Face in the Crowd, I've seen. Have I seen Ace in the Hole? Gosh, I have to try to remember. So I read like a Face in the Crowd. Um, who's the actor who's in it? Um, like Andy Griffith or something. I don't know. We'll have to look that up. Uh, like Ace he played like a media mogul or something. Like I forget. Like I'm gonna look it up right now. Ace in the Hole. Okay. Oh, a Face in the Crowd. Oh, a Face in the Crowd. Okay. 
directed by Elliot Kiss. Oh, Andy Griffith. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. A face in the crowd. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think I've seen this. I would love to. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, that'll be that'll be on my list of things to see. <laughs> okay, so my homework assignment is, is to get your of uh, this part two of Dan's piece up. And then I will get either Blake's up next or Caitlin's next. We'll kind of oh, see what... right, the voice actress. Right, right. Um, so I'll, I'll figure out which one I which what we want to put up next, but that I'll wait a couple weeks and we'll put that one up. And then we'll have we'll have um Kathy Moon in the can. And then I'll I'll just find the next person, figure out what it is. Kathy so, Moon is the woman you just spoke of, right? The right, the, right. I think it'll be a fun. What, like, be a fun what kind of movie, yeah? What kind of movies does she like specifically enjoy? Oh, God, she she like, loves everything. She sees everything. Oh, so she's she, like goes, me. she she sees everything, and she loves um she loves opera and she loves theater. So she'll even go to the cinema where it's um theater that's coming from London that they filmed, so you can see it. Because we can't go over there to see it, so they film it, and you can go to yeah. movie houses to see. I mean, she sees everything. Um, yeah. And so if I know. could say, um, if there was like a specific genre of like a specific movie I want to interview her, I would like to interview her for either maybe a crime movie or a horror movie. If that's oh, good. a crime movie would be great. Okay, a crime. I'll I'll see what she what she says. A crime movie, like. Something with the mafia, maybe like Goodfellas or Scarface or like Casino. Okay. Like that would be cool. Okay. Like, to her on that. Okay. Well, well then Even I'll the see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure she can probably talk rings about that one. <laughs> be really, really cool. Um, what else? Anyway, well, so I'm hoping this works because if this works and then we're not going to do Zoom anymore, we'll always do it on this. Now, can you see up in the corner? Um, it says powered by, and it looks like a duck with a green head. Streamyard. Yeah, he has like a, yeah, he's wearing a headset. Yep, I see. Right. Him. Okay, that is their banner, and I can not their banner, but their brand. So, for instance, yeah. when we use it, I can switch that over. See how it says Sarah Solo. Yes, I do. And when we do our class, the solo. So Blake is going to make one out of your talking cinema with Mike. Cool. And then we'll put that up in that spot. So whenever we do that, that'll be up there. And then I think when I, whenever I put it up on YouTube, that's when the um, subscribe button goes on it there. I don't think I have to put it on here, but I'll double check that. But then, we'll, so we're going to make you one that's um, specifically for you. Um, okay. And that'll be kind of cool. Uh, all righty. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um. What was I thinking about doing? Let me hold on, Michael. Let me let me get my calendar. Because I'm thinking we may not meet next week. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm losing I'm losing my mind. <laughs> um, I we're going to New York. And I and we're leaving on yeah I I won't be around the ninth because I'm going to be in New York and in fact I'm going to opening night with your um with your uncle Dan That's right. we can I talk about, like meeting up with right. you soon. right 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 uh, which re reminds me I got to email him to find out how we're going to meet up and everything but uh, so I won't we won't meet next I, I mean I could bring my computer uh, but I have a feeling I may have to end up it's a Friday night I may end up having to go out somewhere. So let's so you're saying that, like our next meeting will be Friday the 16th. I think so. Let me see if that's correct. La, 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 la. Yeah, it would be the 16th. Is that okay? That's fine. And then what I'll do is maybe we'll if, if that's all right, maybe we'll be able to do Catherine. I mean, um uh Kathy Moon then. I'll see yeah. if that's an open date for her because that'd be great. If not, I'll I'll arrange it so that we have someone to fit. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be in New York. I'll ask all my New York friends. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about me, Ann. Tell them about me. <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> yeah, jazz hands. 
<laughs> All right. Well, then I'll let you go. Let me work on this. I'm going to, I'm going to, well, when this clicks off and it'll stop recording, I'm going to look at it and, and let's see if there's any, oh, you know what? Um, so far you haven't glitched. I heard a little, but if that, if they fix it, then that's perfect. You haven't glitched this one. This is working fine. This is working yeah. fine. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a recording of it and I'm going to send it to you. Um, and then you'll take a look at it. All right. All right. Okay. The next thing I want to do is fix a better light in front for you. So you're, cause you look kind of gray, but it'd be great if we can get you a nice bright light to be in the front so that you see how bright my face is. That'll be the yeah. next thing we can look for something to put in back of that. Okay. Okay. Cause Sounds I good? think this little light, this little light that I usually put on my laptop, I think it ran out of battery or something. Uh, I might have to get a new okay. one. Maybe. Okay. Well, it, or you can also get just a little bit bigger. I think I may have sent you this. This see how big this one is. I yes, won't put I it in your eyes, that. but it's nice and big. So when I put it behind my computer on a little thingy, see how bright my face gets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it just it makes that my. So let's see if we can find um find one for you because they're not very expensive, you know. Yeah. Um, I think I I think it's time to ask your mom, mom. I <laughs> Okay, sweetheart, I'm going to work on this and I'll send it to you. Okay, Ann. Okay, let's see. I'm going to click you out and goodbye. <laughs>